today we have dell latitude e6440 this is giving fan error so let's replace the fan first we'll remove the battery these are keyboard screws those also need to be removed Remove all the screws. This panel holds two screws for hard drive also. We have to remove only the screws. We are not removing the hard drive. push the panel lift and push it so it opens you can see the fan it's not moving it's very hard so we'll replace the fan and also replace the heat sink compound on the cpu now let's start removing it we we'll have to remove the heat sink <coughs> plus the fan Remove all the screws. Three more here. Just lift the <coughs> heatsink and pull it out. So this is the fan is completely choked with dust and it's not moving easily freely. Let's keep the laptop aside and we'll remove the fan from the casing. There are four screws here. one and this one this is the last one There are few more screws behind. These two. Let's remove the black tape. You can just remove this fan. There is one more tape here, this cloth tape. 
and I have to peel it off too. This is the fan. There is one more tape here to hold the cable. There is lots of dust inside. I'll just pause the video and get it clean from outside. I don't want to mess up my table. Just a second. Now this is clean completely. You can see all the fins are clear. There is no dust in the fins now. I will replace the fan. This is a new fan. This was an older one. This is a new one. Let's tighten all the four screws. We removed this tape earlier. We will have to glue it down so because of dust. The all the sticky substance has gone. I'll just apply some glue. A small quantity is enough. that's fine I'll just route this cable through the I think that wire is stuck in between just peel off this tape and route the cable through the tape that's it I will fasten all the rear screws one more Done. I will apply heatsink paste on the CPU. I just clean the CPU. Apply heatsink paste on both these. And then <coughs> just clean the fan area. There's lots of dust into it. Applying heatsink paste. That much is enough. We just again slide the fan inside as we remove. Fasten all the screws.
while fixing the screws make sure you fix them diagonally so that it does not <coughs> create a stress on other screws it's always better to install all screws diagonally CPU screw and that's it I'll just plug the fan cable Check the we remove the battery so let me plug in the charger. Yes, this has come on. No, it's not giving any fan error. Earlier it used to stop and wait for the F1 to continue command. Put the back cover. And that was a very easy fix. Whenever you remove any CPU fan or heatsink, make sure to replace the heatsink compound. Just install the battery and all it's all done. Thank you for watching. Please do like and subscribe the channel.